Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On this edition of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be looking at 1 Thessalonians chapter 2. Paul's work in Thessalonica. For you yourselves know, brothers, that our visit to you was not a failure. You know how we had already been mistreated and insulted in Philippi before we came to you in Thessalonica. Yet our God gave us courage to tell you the good news that comes from him, even though there was much opposition. For the appeals we make to you is not based on error or impure motives, nor do we try to trick anyone. Instead, we always speak as God wants us to, because he approved us and entrusted the good news to us. We do not try to please men, but to please God, who tests our motives. For you know very well that we did not come to you with flattering talk, nor did we use words to cover up greed. God is our witness. We did not try to get praise from anyone either, from you or from others, even though we could have made demands on you as apostles of Christ. But we were gentle when we were with you, as gentle as a mother taking care of her children. Because our love for you, we were ready to share with you not only the good news from God, but ever, even our own lives. You were so dear to us. Surely you remember, brothers, how we worked and toiled. We worked day and night, so we would not be any trouble to you as we preach to you in the good news from God. You are our witness, and so is God. Our conduct toward you believed was pure and right and without fault. You know that we treated each of you just as the Father treats his own children. We encouraged you, we comforted you, and we keep urging you to live the kind of lives that please God, who calls you to share his own kingdom and glory. And for this other reason also, we also give thanks to God when we brought your God's message. You heard it and accepted it, not as man's message, but as God's message, which is indeed it is. For God is at work among you who believe. You, my brothers, have the same thing happen to you that happened to churches of God in Judea, to the people that were belonging to Jesus Christ. You suffer the same persecutions for your own countrymen that suffered from the Jews, who killed the Lord Jesus and the prophets and persecuted us. How displeasing... they are to God, how hostile they are to men. They even tried to stop us from preaching to the Gentiles the message that would be bring, bringing salvation. This is the last full mes measure of the sin that they have always committed, and now God's wrath has at last fallen upon them. So this chapter is about uh, Paul Paul's work in Thessalonica, and this is talking about the opposition that they face while they go to many areas. They faced opposition in Thessalonica, but also were welcomed by the people uh, because of the love that they showed others. And this is the way that us as Christians should be treating others as well. We should be showing them love and kindness so that we are welcomed and um, treated with, with respect while we also share the good news of Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. We will start on chapter one next.